The seven craziest stories in Le Mans 24 hour history. The 24 hours of Le Mans is always one of the highlights of the motorsport year, but some races at the Circuit de la Sarthe have stood out for producing some unbelievable moments. Here are seven crazy examples. 1950. Nowadays, Le Mans has strict rules about how long each driver must spend in the car during the race. But back in 1950, there was no such restrictions. This led driver pairing Louis Rosier and his son Jean-Louis to pull off what is arguably the most ridiculous strategy ever seen at Le Mans. Of the 24 hours, Louis spent 23 hours, 15 minutes and 17 seconds in the car, with his son Jean-Louis only driving for two laps in the middle of the race while his father had a toilet and food break. Unbelievably, they ended up winning the race. 1969. The traditional Le Mans style start saw drivers run across the track and into their cars before driving off. This all changed when top driver Jackie Ix walked slowly to his car in protest of the start procedure, which saw drivers rarely do up their seatbelts properly. Ix went on to win the race in his Ford GT40, but only just, trading places with Hans Hermann's Porsche 908 to win by just a few seconds in the closest ever unstaged finish at Le Mans. The following year, the start procedure was scrapped and drivers started the race properly, strapped into their seats. 1988. Le Mans is all about building the best possible car to win the race, right? Well, not exactly. Welter Racing entered the 1988 race with only one goal in mind, to be the fastest car ever down La Sarthe's famous Mulsanne Street. The Peugeot WM88, nicknamed Project 400, wasn't competitive, nor was it reliable, but it did hit a face-melting speed of 400 kilometers an hour, which is 248.54 miles an hour, during the race before it broke down. With chicanes being added to the Mulsanne two years later, it's a record that is unlikely ever to be broken. 2015. Speaking of track changes, back in the early 70s, the Circuit de la Sarth had just a handful of turns. So when Jackie Oliver set a lap record of 3 minutes 18.4 in 1971, many thought that this would never be broken, especially now that the circuit has 38 turns versus 12 back in 1971. In 2015 though, the top Le Mans prototypes were so fast that the Audi R18 e-tron Quattro broke the overall record twice in the race, with Andre Lotterer setting an unbelievable 3 minutes 17.647 despite having to navigate so many more chicanes than when the original record was set in 1971. 1933. Modern day Le Mans cars are the most technologically advanced race cars in the world. But back in 1933, the race winning car was fixed mid-race by something very simple. At half distance, the race leading Alfa Romeo suffered a fuel leak that was unbelievably plugged with chewing gum by a mechanic. The Alfa went on to win the race by just 10 seconds after the 24 hours. 1976. The oil crisis of the 1970s was starting to take its toll on Le Mans. The variety and size of the grid was dropping and so was the crowd. So in 1976, the race organizers decided to let NASCARs compete in the race. It may seem strange to bring gas guzzling V8s to help with a problem caused by an oil crisis, but the race attracted huge media attention and the loud and powerful engines of the cars proved popular with the crowd. However, none of them finished the race. 2016. Many expected the 2016 Le Mans 24 hours to be a race between German manufacturers Audi and Porsche, but Toyota surprised everyone to lead comfortably into the final hour of the race. Toyota had never won Le Mans, but had come desperately close on a number of occasions and it looked to finally be their year. But a mechanical issue for the leading Toyota caused Kazuki Nakajima to stop on the start-finish straight with just three minutes left of the 24 hours. Neil Jarni passed the stricken Toyota on the final lap to take Porsche's 18th overall win at Le Mans in what has to be the most unbelievable finish ever seen at La Sarthe. If you want to buy some new awesome WTF1 merch, then check out our new shop by clicking here.